Hey everyone, this is Nintendo Gamer 2012, or as some may know me as NG. Um, I've gotten a request from Proving Nero on VG Mania uh, to, and he was asking me to demonstrate the AR games on the Nintendo 3DS. So that's what I'll be doing today. By the way, this is my first, I guess, tutorial video and VG Mania video as well. So I'm hitting two birds with one stone here. Okay, so. In order to use AR games, you're going to need a 3DS, first off. Very important. Um, you're also going to need at least one of six um, AR cards. They look like this, or they have other prints, such as Mario, Kirby, Link, Samus, or Pikmin. And But you're definitely going to need this one. This is the default AR card. Alright, so, let's get started. Uh, no, we're not playing Super Street Fighter 4, although I'd like to. Okay, AR games. I'd like to, unfortunately, I'd like to show you this in 3D, but I can't do that. If I did, it'd look like this, as soon as that focuses. Yeah. No, no 3D, no good. Anyway, um, the six AR cards above are included with the system. As you can see, there's just what I have over here, different order. But um, it's the question mark block. It's Mario, Link, Kirby, Samus, and Pikmin again. Uh, let's get out your question mark AR cards. So now I'm just gonna get rid of these cards, just so we have more space. Okay, you just have one lone question mark card, coin block, whatever you want to call it. Alright, you're supposed to say 14 to 30 inches, 30 inches would probably be too far, and I am very close to it, so that would not be good. It will see it, it will find it, but it'll tell me that I am about 7 inches away, I think, 6 inches all right, well, I'm going to move up ahead. Obviously, you cannot see what's going on. The um, AR on the AR card. Measuring the distance. One second. But the, the whole deal with augmented reality, which is AR, um, is that it's supposed to appear as if it is actually on your surface, whether it's a table, it's a couch, it's a floor, a toilet, whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. So here we go. As you can see, you have your little guy, you have more guys now. Not there. Only the DS. Um, you have a variety of options. You can choose AR Shot, which is kind of like a golf game. Um, I haven't really played it much, so I can't tell you much about it, uh, but then there's archery. Archery is a lot of fun. It's It requires you to move around your table or object, whatever you're using your AR card on, and shoot the targets, and eventually you get to a boss battle, which is a dragon that appears and comes right out of your table. Let's just say you're using a table. Um, I mean, that's probably your best bet. You can go fishing, catch different fish. Uh, I haven't used this one much either. It's just fishing. Uh, you know, nothing to it. Graffiti, back here. Um, it's drawing. You can draw the pictures you do draw will show up, and you can move them around, similar to what I will be showing you, which is Star Picks. Um, and Me Picks is the same thing as Star Picks, but you get to use your Mies. Uh, so I will go into the Star Picks. It's going to tell me I'm a little too close, because I really am. But, uh, you know, I only have a limited space, so... Um, when you're actually using this, and you're not filming it on a camera like me, then you'll have a much better time. It's a lot of fun. Uh, this is your default card. Your little character, he seems to be... 
a man in a box or something like that you can change the size you can change their stances they have different stances he's dead he's wearing glasses sleeping and sitting and then you can take pictures of him too which I'll probably do in a little bit um, so let's move on to the more exciting part of the um, snapshots for the star picks. Uh, let's see. We'll start off with save. We'll save the best for last. So we'll start off with the Pikmin. Um, it's the red, yellow, blue Pikmin. Very, very, uh, you know, normal. Nothing to it. Original stuff from the games. You can hear their noises, their sound effects, different stances. Change the size. And yes, that's pretty much it. Now I'll move them to the side so you can probably still see them in the view here. Um and we will add Samus to the game. You can now you can overlap them. If you overlap them, you will have problems. Pikmin won't show anymore, Samus will, but Pikmin won't. Also, if you cover them in any way, shape, or form, it will not recognize the cards anymore. And that's not fun. So, there's Samus with her different stances. Of course, looks a lot better in 3D. Especially if you're actually playing. Um, that's, that's Samus for you. All right, and we'll move out of that one. We'll go into Kirby. You can move them around. They aren't. Uh, they don't. They aren't required to just stay in one place. Cause what fun would that would be? You know, you got the warp star. Whoa. If you notice in the background of the music, you can kind of hear um, the tunes of these characters, whether it's Pikmin or Kirby or Mario, if you listen closely. But I'm not going to sit here to let you listen to it. I mean, this isn't a music video. Uh, okay, there's Kirby. You know, Warp Star, Parasol, jumping, waving, and coloring. Many uh, faces of Kirby. Um, anyway... Now we'll move on. We'll get Pikmin out of there. No one really likes Pikmin. And there's Link. Uh, yeah, that's right. After when you when you do summon a character, they do have a little jingle or a dangle, or, you know, whatever. Um, so there you go. Sword. He's running around. He's got a rupee. He's fighting birds, looking up and playing uppercut, whatever. And now he's got a bomb. So you know, you and a, a lot of fun with these too. You can uh, you know you can make them almost seem as if they're interacting with each other. Um, you can create a little mass bros on your table or your couch. Um, yeah, so you can have a lot of fun and. Last but not least, you have Mario, the mascot for Nintendo. And he's got a lot of stuff too. And now he's too small. You know, he could fly. You could take pictures of him, of these guys. I'll demonstrate that. I'll put, I'll put Mario over here. Switch over to Kirby. Maybe put them back here. You know, they're both flying around, doing their thing. And voila, you have a picture. Beautiful picture. Uh, sure, I'll save it. Why not? And that's pretty much it for the AR card. You can put them all up at once, you know. If it'll read it, it'll show up. There you go. Uh, not much space here, so I'm very limited. There we go, put that over there, move it over, there's Link, and Mario, there you go, there's a good little picture right there, no? Um, so anyway, 
that's pretty much it with the AR cards. Um, it's very, it's, it's it's nothing competitive. It's very easy to use. It's a fun little feature that the 3DS comes with. Hopefully, Nintendo will take it into their own hands. Maybe make a game that specializes the whole augmented reality scheme. I think that's pretty cool. Maybe a WarioWare game would do something like that. But anyway, I guess we'll have to see. The 3DS did only come out about two or three weeks ago. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully you learned about the AR cards, the AR games, see how they work. Uh, and yeah. Alright, thanks for watching.